Saunas and ice baths are all the rage in the recovery world lately. And while both are definitely beneficial for exercise and muscle recovery, the way they are beneficial and the time they should be used vary greatly. Let's start by talking about heat exposure or heat therapy. This is most often done using a sauna or a sauna blanket. Heat exposure in saunas have been shown to have many benefits, including improving heart health, promoting fat loss, and improving sleep. But today we're going to be focusing specifically on muscle and exercise recovery. Now, if you're just looking for overall health benefits, then it doesn't really matter what time of day you do it. However, afternoon and evening is going to be most in line with our body's natural heat fluctuations. And this is going to help you sleep better at night. As long as you're breaking a sweat and doing it at least three times per week, you're going to see tremendous benefits. And I do have a full video on all of the benefits that come along with sauna use, so I'll link that above if you want to know more. But let's focus on recovery. The reason that saunas speed up muscle recovery is because they improve how oxygen and blood circulate the body. Better circulation and blood flow means that muscles that are damaged by exercise can repair faster. And when I say damage, I'm not referring to injury, but rather the microscopic tears that occur after exercise. The way that muscles grow and become stronger is these microscopic tears occur when you work out, and then your body repairs or replaces the damaged fibers. With better blood circulation, your muscles are able to repair faster, meaning you can work out sooner with less muscle soreness and tension. The best time to use heat exposure for muscle recovery is after your workout for the reasons I just explained. It helps to speed up the recovery process, and there's also some evidence that it can improve performance as well. One study found that when distance runners use saunas four times a week after their workouts, in just three weeks, their run to exhaustion test improved by 32%. And the reason you might not wanna use saunas before your workout is because they can drain your energy. And this ties in with why saunas are beneficial for heart health. The reason that saunas are so beneficial for heart health is because they mimic exercise and they increase your heart rate. But the downside is if you do this before your workout, it might impact your ability to perform to your full potential. Now let's talk about cold exposure, which is usually achieved through ice baths or cold plunges or cold showers. Cold exposure has been shown to improve insulin sensitivity and blood sugar, lower blood pressure, reduce stress, and improve metabolism. But again, today we're focusing on the benefits for recovery, one of which is that it can reduce muscle soreness. But here's the catch. The way that cold exposure reduces muscle soreness is different from the way that heat exposure does. Cold exposure actually reduces inflammation. Now, if you're scratching your head and thinking, okay, but I thought that we usually want to reduce inflammation, stay with me for a second. Yes, chronic inflammation is harmful and something we want to reduce or avoid for good health. But acute inflammation is usually a good thing. Acute inflammation is what is happening when our muscles have broken down and they're repairing. It basically means that more energy and resources is being driven to that area of the body. Now, when we do cold exposure, this inflammation is reduced, and that means there's going to be less muscle growth. Now, this can be a good thing if, let's say you have another workout or competition within the next 12 to 24 hours. If you don't want your muscles to be sore for that workout or that competition, then a cold plunge in this situation can definitely be beneficial. But otherwise, if you're looking to build muscle, then cold exposure should be avoided post-workout. Wait at least six hours after your workout, and you're going to be able to reap the long-term benefits without undermining your muscle gain. Now, as I said, cold exposure does have a lot of benefits, so I am by no means saying to avoid it. But just make sure to keep it far enough away from your workouts, or even do it beforehand. And I also want to mention that when it comes to cold exposure, there isn't a precise temperature that you need to have the water at. It's all relative to the current temperature of your skin in contrast to the water. A good marker is if it feels uncomfortable but bearable. If it feels uncomfortable, that's a good thing. If it feels easy, it needs to be colder. 
Now, if you guys are looking for some affordable at home ways to add heat and cold exposure into your routine, I'm going to link to some options in the description box down below. In terms of heat, I am a huge fan of sauna blankets. The one I use is from Bon Charge. It's compact, it's easy to set up, and it's really easy to clean as well. I use it four to five times per week for 30 minute sessions. I'm gonna put the link to that in the description box down below. I also have a promo code for 15% off, which is HCK15. I'll put that down below as well so you don't forget. <laughs> In terms of cold exposure, as I mentioned before, cold showers are always an option. They aren't going to be as beneficial as ice baths or cold plunges are, however. The more surface area of your body you can cover, the more you're gonna be activating your cold receptors and the more benefits you're gonna be getting. Ideally, you want to be using a cold plunge or an ice bath and going all the way in above your shoulders, up to your neck. Easier said than done, but once you do it a few times, it does actually get easier and you do get more used to it. Personally, I have not invested in a cold plunge yet. At home, I just use cold showers, but I have researched a few different options that are available right now, so I will link to those down below as well. Now, I wanna hear from you. Let me know if you've already incorporated heat or cold exposure into your routine and any recovery benefits that you've noticed. Let me know in the comment section down below. I love chatting with you guys there. But anyways, that's all I have for you today. So I will see you next time. Bye guys.